from that to that in that time <laughs> okay so i made version two and it's way better than i thought it would ever be already and even though i'm just a few hours into improving on it so i got a bunch of shapes and everything i'm gonna show you it all it's super fast as well you know what let's start with I'm gonna show you doing round parts as well. So that's not really a thing. We're gonna have a hole in the middle. So let's say this is 150. This could be 40. And I wanted some type of bolt pattern here. It, you gotta watch not to make things too messy because that gets confusing for the AI and also for me. Uh, that looks terrible but uh, hopefully it's gonna be just fine we need we don't need to specify all the holes because it's four of them it's gonna be you know 90 degrees in between it's gonna understand that since we haven't you know put any measurements on the other stuff this is gonna be for countersunk m6 screw so the hole itself needs to be six and a half we can denote the the countersink with a v that's typically what you do 12.6 if I remember correctly is what you want to get a flush nice M6 that should work just fine and I'm gonna show you the insane speed of this it's quite redonkulous let's go like that and I can tell we forgot to add the thickness but we can just put a T4 in the message when we send the picture that's gonna be fine we're gonna get a nice long seed here and there's gonna be a button to copy it that copy is gonna sh light up like that and now I've made one of these shortcuts so all I need to do is paste that in there send that off and BAM and I mean BAM BAM because we're done the, the drawing is done the G code the program I can just produce that right this instant how fast was that so let's import our file there we go and as you can see the center hole there is 40 millimeters the outside diameter is 150 we got the six and a half holes and the countersink and all i really need to do to produce this part is generate the g code which i just did you can see we're gonna pocket everything and then chamfer those holes we're gonna cut it out we're gonna chamfer the top side of the hole and then chamfer the bottom and then we're gonna be frippity done and that's not the best thing though the best thing is this i have on the white paper but we could also add almost any shape i take that with a grain of salt because this works just fine because it's quite a simple shape but it's not a rectangular shape and it's not a round so it's gonna have to actually draw this up. Maybe I should show you that before I show you the creme de la creme over there. <clears throat> so we're gonna do another picture, take photo. Gonna do that. And yet again, we don't have a thickness there, but let's add a T5 this time for thickness five. And you're gonna see, we get the, uh, the seed here. The copy lights up, bam into our shortcut we're gonna send that off down and we are done 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 a lot done bam there's our shape and i need my left hand to show you the measurements and everything but just trust me on this one this is a really simple shape but the fun thing is i've actually figured how well i shouldn't say me because the ai did like 99 percent of this work so found a way to actually draw weird wonky shapes that doesn't have you know isn't a square isn't a rectangle isn't round etc it love pat loves patterns so if i just mark one of those out it's gonna be three instead and it's gonna space them equally unless i tell them to do it to, to do that anyway so this thing this is kind of like the first uh, demo you saw but a lot more information on it we got some countersunk m6s holes at the ends we got a m6 thread hole there and we got shapes within shapes so let me just show you that 
go back into the app, snap a photo. We gotta make sure it's oriented correctly. And excuse me, cause I need to focus here. You want somewhat good lighting. And yet again, no thickness. I keep forgetting, so. T6 for six millimeters thick, send that off. Bam, and the copy's gonna light up. That's a lot of text because there's a lot of information on there. Into our little app here. Ooh, can hardly reach up with my thumb. Done. And we're gonna do one more tweak to that thing. Bam, there's our thing. Even radius as the drawing said it would be the spacing is correct this is our m61 threaded hole i don't need this text but you know it put it there who cares and we could because right now if we produce this uh, refresh those we can see that it's gonna pocket this well pocket and pocket it's gonna make it into a, a hole there if you will but what if we gave it the wrong information. Let's say this was just three millimeters thick and that rectangular hole was just a pocket with a specific depth. Well, we have a solution for that as well. We just go back to our app and I'm gonna just simply tell it. I could press the, this, the microphone icon and verbally tell it, but I'm not gonna gamble on that right now. So uh, what, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's actually three millimeters thick and the internal shape is a two millimeter deep derp deep pocket Bam. So all it's gonna do is update the seed. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna press copy. Come on, come on, come on. There. Into our little shortcut. Send that off. And now, when we import the new file here, bam, we're gonna see. That thing is now on a layer called Pocket 2. So we're gonna actually produce this part. Generate for current drawing, bam, 10 stages generated. Wow. And we can see it's gonna do all the holes. It's gonna pocket this to a depth of two. We can check depth two. Perfect, and then we're gonna chamfer that pocket, then do the hole for the M6. We could actually change places there, so we're gonna save ourselves a tool change. And then we're gonna thread that hole, then we're gonna chamfer the, the pocket, then we're gonna chamfer the top of our threaded hole, then we're gonna countersink these screws, we're gonna cut the piece out, then we're gonna chamfer the, the top side, and then we're gonna chamfer it again, but on the bottom side. I'll show you this a special tool that looks like this, that goes down into the track and chamfers the bottom of it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch phones back to my phone because this is a borrowed phone. So uh, I'm gonna get a piece of aluminum and see you in a second. Back to my phone. Let's find a piece of material. This is three millimeters. This should be fine because it's not that wide this piece I'm just gonna put it there we need to remove our pen and paper so it don't blow away bam bam and this is ready to go so let's just activate our vacuum and go and i'm gonna probably fast forward this piece so you don't get bored i'm gonna try to stand as still as i can no promises changing tools over there we are going to start making all the four small corners and then we're gonna do the pocketing. Let's go!
just turn off the vacuum and show you this beautiful piece. Pump off, vacuum zone off. Here's our piece. I don't know how well it's gonna turn up on camera, but it looks beautiful as it always does. Focus, you F. Anyway, so you see both sides chamfered, really nice, really cute, really beautiful. Let's grab a M6, put that in here, yep, 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 yep. and you'll see we have our M6 screw. How amazing is that? Let's grab the, uh, the drawing from that to that in that time. Oh, 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 oh. So good.